Okay, Helen, welcome and congratulations on your success on Dragon's Den with Easy Tots. Fantastic result, you must be so pleased. Yeah, it's it's been a phenomenal couple of weeks, John. Yeah, we are absolutely over the moon. Uh, it was a long time coming. We thought the day would never come, but yeah, it finally got aired um, on Thursday the 27th. Uh, so we've got our little moment of fame with Easy Tots. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about behind the scenes stuff, Helen, what, what went on, you know, rehearsal and that kind of thing, what, what happens? Yeah, okay, so the, the day on set is actually a really long day. I was quite surprised at how long we were there. You know, we arrived at um, 12 o'clock. I had two babies with me as well, with my friends, but we didn't actually get to pitch till 7 p.m. So we were kind of cooped up doing little bits of filming all day, having your makeup touched up. And every time the door knocks, you think, oh, I'm up now and it's something else. But uh, so yeah, a long day, but that obviously gave me lots of time to prepare and run over my pitch as well. Do you actually get to go into the den before it starts or is that the first time you see it? So you don't get to see the dragons or anything before um, you actually walk out into the lift, but we did get a sneak glimpse of what the, the room looks like in one of the, the pre-film sections because they do pre-film you in the lift beforehand um, to get the best footage. So, um, so I did kind of see what the room was like, but it was without dragons. Okay. So how did you feel when you got to the point of when you're at the lift and you're actually pressing the button? That must be quite nerve-wracking. That that was incredibly nerve wracking because I knew then that 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 was my that was my point, you know this this was it now. Um, so I was just telling myself to get through it, get through it. A little bit of fight or flight, and you're thinking I can't do this, but somehow you just do. You're just so out of your comfort zone, but you know that this is the chance for your business that you'll never get again. Yeah, yeah. But you did a great presentation, obviously. You knew your numbers. Um, so do you have to do that in one take or do you get a chance to, to redo it if you fluff your lines or is that it? It's just one go. No, 100%, John, you have to nail it first time. There's no retakes. In fact, there's actually no physical cameras that you can see in the room. Everything's um, uh, kind of embedded in the walls and, and, and whatnot. So um, you literally are having a direct meeting with, with the dragons. So you walk in, you stand on your spot and you launch into your pitch straight away. And then after that, you think that the worst is over, but then you've got... 40 minutes of questions mm -hmm. which are then condensed on air down to just 10 or 15 minutes so it was uh, it was quite enlightening to know actually how i responded because obviously you you, you forget mm -hmm. you forget it's been it's been quite a while since the actual pitch and and you don't never know what they're gonna um, actually choose to broadcast mm -hmm. that's interesting i didn't realize that i thought the questions that you saw were actually the ones that you got so, so yeah, they were a portion of them. Um, the questioning um, for some people, I believe, can go on for more than an hour. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was about 40 minutes. And um, yeah, there's some grueling questions there because you do get pulled over the coals. It is kind of a you do bear your soul and it's a warts and all kind of situation. So there is an element of risk there. But um, yeah, I think it was edited quite well. And I think we came across uh, quite favourably. Uh, you did. It got very tense though when, when one dragon after another dropped out. I mean, I was feeling it just watching it. So how were you feeling it when you got down to the last two? Yeah, well, in the back of my mind, I was thinking this isn't going as I'd like it to go. And I was considering in the back of my mind that I'm going to walk away without investment here, especially after Tuka Sullivan um, said he was out because he was who I thought was my best match because he's, he's um, already invested in um, baby products and he's got all the right connections. But, uh, you know, in the end, it was the best result for us. How did you feel, actually, when Sarah said the magic words and made you the offer? Well, Sarah was fantastic all the way through. You know, she was great with the eye contact and she made me feel very welcome. And, um, you know, there, there was a... Uh, many questions that she asked me where it was like sell this to me now because I could tell that she was sitting on the fence and um, I, I encouraged her I think I, I think I, I did really well at getting my point across and uh, 
and moved her across the byline, so to speak, and she made an offer, which was a huge relief, as you can imagine. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I really like the fact that when that you accepted it straight away without without all the talking to the wall stuff. It, was that just the spur of the moment? You just thought, this is good, I'm going to take it? Yeah, I, th I think I knew that was the only offer I was going to get. Um, I knew um, what my cap was going to be, and I thought it was likely that the, that uh, they, they would offer you know, all of the money, but for more percentage than I originally asked. Mm -hmm. But I know what that value is to my company. So it was a no brainer. So no, I didn't need to talk to the wall. I just was very, very thankful and very, very happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you met up with Sarah last week. So so how did that go? And was that the first time you've met her since, since the show? It, it was the first time we've physically met. We've um, we've had multiple Zooms and we're in a, in a WhatsApp group and, and whatnot, but to actually get the opportunity to visit her at her um, headquarters at Crafters Companion in the Northeast, oh, it, was, it was a wonderful day. She introduced me to all of her team and said, these are your extended team. Um, she's give me a, a team of um, graphic designers to work on our next packaging straight away. And we had uh, lots of fun in a studio where we did um, Helen and Sarah's big chat, where we answered questions from our social media followers, which was lots of fun. And we can't wait to get that out there next. <laughs> so you've done fantastically well, Helen, with the easy tops up to now. So how, how do you see it changing now that you've got a dragon on board? I don't know. We have high hopes because she's very, very hands on and she's very, you know, invested in the, the businesses she chooses to work with. So, yeah, we, we are getting prepared to make our products more store ready and, and, and improve our offering for retail. Um, and she's also already helped me with some warehouse space in in the USA in her um Crafters Companion um, Warehouse there. So I've been able to launch already, even before completion on Amazon in the USA. Great. Finally, Helen, you've been a member of St. Helens Chamber for a long, long time, and you've had support through the Business Growth Programme and also the Business Growth Grant. So just uh, tell me how much has that support helped you and Easy Tots in getting to where you are now? Yes, certainly a few years ago when uh, we were much smaller and there was just myself in the business, um, accessing the support from the Chamber was um, really crucial at the time to helping me move forward. And we, we accessed the, um, the, the, the business growth um, plan and that was able to help us with um, a portion of our marketing, which was super helpful at the time. Um, and I think we've had access to, to funding and, and other bits and bobs since then. And, and the networking is obviously great as well. Yeah. You're involved in the kickstart scheme as well. Yeah, we, we take we took on um, two two kickstarters and um, which was well timed for us just before we've, you know, got really busy as a result of um, of, of Dragon's Den and um, one for admin and one for pick and pack. So that's been great as well. Great, that's fantastic, Helen. Thank you so much for taking your time out your busy schedule. Um, look forward to seeing you again soon at the chamber. Um, you're very welcome to bring Sarah along as well if you can. That will be fantastic. <laughs> so, okay, okay, Helen, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.